Now then YouTube, I'm the Toffman and welcome back to all the mods part 2. That's right, well actually it's part 3 really in the grand scheme of things, but the other one was part 0 and then the last one was part 1 and so on and so forth. But anyways, um, I'm back today guys and I'm going to be telling you and showing you what I'm going to be doing this episode. But first I would like to go through some of the comments that was made in the last episode because I like to do that. I like to be able to see what people are saying and to, you know, to help me along because I'm absolutely terrible at remembering things and... Um, you guys know more about these mods than I do, so it's really nice to get the comments. So let's go get straight into it then. Um, the occasional damage that uh, I'm getting when I'm mining away or whatever it is and then I just get slapped by something, I don't know what it is. Um, well, I do know what it is now. It's actually the splinters effect from my tools, which actually would make a whole lot of sense. Toff's pick does have splinters on there, um, and that is what gives me um, the little whack every now and then. And that was by Night Song, so thank you very much for that. It was also, I think, Norman as well mentioned about the Splinters effect. But uh, Iguana Tweaks uh, was a mod that I was thinking about in my last episode uh, that adds different things. Um, that adds... What, was it, what did it add now? I can't remember. But I, can't, uh, I can't remember. Would you believe it, guys? I can't remember. Uh, oh, the ability to switch tool heads, I think it was. Um, and the, it's actually the modder who made Iguana Tweaks has taken over Tinker's Construct now. So... Yeah, that's probably the reason why some of the Iguana Twix things have been brought into Tinker's Construct. And also, there is no better material anymore. So it's just a case of finding out which is best uh, for you and blah, blah, blah. Uh, that was by Glitch Reaper. Thank you very much for that. Make a small call and then the mods guide will pop into my inventory, which I already did, by the way, guys. Um, <clears throat> I did that. I've got it somewhere kicking around here. Is that it? Yeah, that's the one. That's the mod, guys. Pops into your inventory when you do make a small call. Um, then make a coal generator to make start making an RF, and then make an atomic reconstructor. And uh, I hope you are sticking with this pack. That was by Dolly Hered Heredia? Heredia? I don't know how you pronounce it, but either which way. Um, yes, I'm, I'm planning to stick with the pack as long as it can. As long as it goes without breaking the entire world, I will stick with this pack because I'm enjoying it at the moment. The, the mods are new, the mods are um, uh, changed since, so I'm looking forward to seeing where it goes from here. And I'll go through what I'm going to be planning on doing this episode and what I'm going to be planning on doing uh, in future episodes as well. So, And as for making the re re atomic reconstruction and stuff, I will be doing that at some stage anyway because um, you will find out what, why. I will be doing that very shortly. So when searching J, I use the at symbol for mod specific things. If I do Tinker's, whoops, it will bring up Tinker's stuff, for instance. So it's just like um, uh, just like any I. I mean, I really wish that that thing would be up here so I can go down and then I can click on what mod I actually want to uh, want to see. Because sometimes I could be looking some, for something from a mod that I don't know what the name of it is. So this is absolutely ridiculous. Um, I mean, it's useful, don't get me wrong, it's, it is useful, but I would much rather have something up here that I can click and get it down. But I think FTB Utils does add that. Unfortunately, it's ran into game-breaking bugs at the moment, and that's the reason why it's not in. Um, same with IC2. Again, like I said, I'm just going with the pack. There has been a couple of updates, and um, we're on 1.4, I believe, now. If you want to download it, by the way, go over to Curse, uh, and you can find it on the, um, on the Curse forums and stuff like that. And you can find it in the mod packs section. Uh, also, um, I could add a parts chest to my little thing here, and uh, what that does is the parts chest will go ahead and it's a place where you can store, store all of your tool parts, and apparently the uh, tabs show the best way of putting these in order. So, wait, hang on a minute, that can't be right, surely. So, would it be like... It can't be. Because the part builder's there. Not the part builder, the tool station's the first one. So, oh, hang on a minute, you mean stencil table, and then doing it that way? I don't, I don't know. I don't know, but apparently I can add a, a parts chest to that. So if you've got any comments or suggestions or anything like that, guys, please put them in the comments section. And, um, you know, over this episode, I'm sure I'm going to get things wrong. And I'm sure that you you, you know, you guys know uh, of a better way of doing things. So please do let me know as we're going along. So the plan for today and the plan for subsequent episodes at the moment. I am, I am, 
I am beginning to realise that I really want some metal tools. This is great and all, but it doesn't last a very long time at all. And going on a mining spree, especially when you can't actually just put um, a piece of flint with this, that is really annoying, I do have to say. You've got to bring it back to the part builder. You've got to bring it back to somewhere around here. I don't know what it is. Tool station, I think it is. Pop it into here and put a bit next to it to actually repair it. So I could, break, I could take one around with me if I really wanted to, but that's just taking up a space in my inventory. I like the fact that you could put that in here and you could put a little thing next to it and then repair it that way um, but you can't do that in this one so I really want to get on with building metal tools the only problem is to do that guys we need gravel sand and clay we're gonna build a smelter it and this is what you guys have been saying is probably the best way of dub doubling my ores um, early games so I am gonna be doing that anyway I'm gonna be doing a smelter because I need a smelter to make my uh, my tools and stuff but in the future, in the future episodes, what's going to happen is I'm going to look at the different ways to actually double your R's to see which one is better or which one looks nicer, which one um, could be good for you and blah, blah, blah. So there's a few ways that you can actually... Uh, double your R's in this pack so I want to explore all of the options and I want to do this in subsequent episodes so today we're going to be concentrating on making that smelter it and then in the future we're going to take a look at the atomic reconstruction the actual additions way of making it and so on and so forth so it's going to be good guys it is going to be good but first and foremost I did go out and get a load of gravel I did go out and get a load of sand and I did get out and get a load of clay. So we've got plenty of stuff to be able to uh, to go ahead and make at the moment. Ah, a nice load of grout there. Um, I probably need some more clay. I did go out looking around for clay. In fact, I'm gonna, probably going to keep some clay actually and just have two stacks of, uh, of this. I'm going to go and get some cobblestone as well because I need another furnace. One furnace is not going to be anywhere near enough. Oh, I apparently get the achievement now. Great stuff. Have I not got any coal? Are you kidding me? I've not got any coal. Well, it just so happens I've got a lot of oak wood because there's something else I want to do at some stage as well. Not yet, like, but uh, something else I do want to do. Right, well, let's put that into there. We'll start making some charcoal, guys, and uh, we will start making the grout of which we need to make the, uh, sorry, not grout, uh, seared brick that we need to make the smeltery um, all in all. So, okay, well, there's nothing really that much that I can show you about this. You've seen it done a thousand times, so let me wait for this and uh, get my smeltery up and running, and I'll see you guys in a moment. All right, guys, we're going to go down into my um, mining place that I've got down here because I want to show you guys what I found when I was out mining. Plus, I want to go ahead and get some uh, some lava for the smeltery anyway, so this is a good place to come, of course. Um, nickel ore. I can't actually mine this. This is really annoying, but that's not what I've come to show you. <clears throat> In here, and hopefully some more nickel ore there as well. Look, uh, Hopefully I'm not going to die from being inside here. I need to get that at some stage. But... <clears throat> I did find a very interesting thing. Oh, oh dear. Um, we need to go across here. Whoop. I need to keep my sword out at all times. I did find, look, this. Oh my god, what is that? Why have you got a knife? Get away from me, boy. I did find this. And it is actually spawning stuff just outside here. So I'm going to have to be careful with this. That's copper ore there as well. And some coal. Ha ha! These nice, uh, these are great. These rock formations from Biomes are plenty. Really nice addition, by the way. Let me just grab this coal while I'm here. Need the coal. What is that? Oh, it's basalt. Okay. I'm not gonna. Am I gonna do that? Yes, I am. Hopefully, I'm not gonna get killed by anything. I take it the crystals. Somebody was on about crystals. I take it that is one of them. So, I'll keep that in mind and get that at some stage. Alluria. Can I get that either? Alamina, sorry. No. Can't get that either. Alright, this is annoying me. Because I don't know where they are. And I know that there's a zombie spawner right here. So, I've got to be careful with this. But I really want to get into soul shards as well at some stage, guys. The old type of soul shards. It was absolutely fantastic. Really great for doing farms and stuff. Um, but this is what I found, guys. And in here, I mean, I, I press the sort button, but this is what I got. I got melons, I got rotten flesh, name tags, ender pearls, gunpowder, string, coal, and these two. I got a machine upgrade, which is a lost capacitor. 
And I got also mystery wrapped up in tin foil. Machine upgrades, basically. They're slightly different. Oh no, they're not. An attached note describes this as they're pretty much the same, are they? Increases energy storage and speed. So they're pretty much the same, it's just they're different named. I have no idea why. I'm not getting rid of this, of course, because I don't know if I can use the spawner um, with, the, with the soul shards. I can't remember if they've got to be naturally spawned or not. But uh, yes, now I need, I need lava. Hmm. I don't really want to go wandering around down there. That's the problem. Let's go around here. What's that? A shimmering mushroom. Oh my goodness. I don't want to go down there at all. Alright, let's see if I can fight my way through this rock formation. They're not behind me, are they? No. This is good. Why is the dirt down here? The heck? What is this? Oh, this is amazing. I love this. This is great. I mean, I'm not going to stay around here because I'm probably going to die. Uh, but that looks great. I need to get over there. I need to get to that. I was on the wrong side all this time. Oh, god damn. Right, let's go and grab it from the other side then. And hopefully not die in the process. No spider, not today. It is not time for me to die today. I'll go away. Look, that ain't fair, because you can climb walls. No, no, no. I'm spamming. I shouldn't spam. I'm not allowed to spam anymore. Come on there, spider. Thinking you is. Thinking you is. Thought you were coming to get me. Ow. How did it get me from that far away? It's whacking me from like massively far away. How is it doing that? That is crazy. Ow! I need that. I need that. We're going to have to go for it, guys. We're going to have to go for it. I've got no food. On me, apart from rotten, rotten flesh. Which is not a good way of doing things. There we go. I will grab that. And then I will get the hell out of here. <laughs> For want of a better word. After I've mined this, of course, you're going to stop on one and a half hearts to mine yourself some iron. Because why not? And then we're going to go back upstairs. Zinc there as well. Nice. I can actually mine that. Thank you. Thank you for letting me mine this. So as I said, I do want to go on a big mining spree, but I think I really need a better pickaxe to be able to do that, of which we will do. Um, we will get, actually, this episode. Oh, it fell down. Gutted. Some copper. Can I grab this? I can well, if it'll pop into my inventory and not all flying all over the floor, that would be great. Oh, well, there's some gold up there as well. I can't actually harvest it at the moment. Now, somebody mentioned something about sharpening kits, and I've never heard of these before, ever. So, I really want to know what they are. And I will try one of them out at some stage, because apparently it will let you sharpen your tool to be able to mine uh, a higher mining level or something like that. I'm not sure if I've got that right or not, but... Uh, I'm sure it's something like that. Another issue that I found, guys, and I don't know whether or not this is me, it probably is, but uh, the melons that I've got growing, they're not actually growing, and I think that's because of the stone that's around them. I need actual dirt for them to grow onto, because as you can see, um, they're, just, they're just not growing sideways, and I don't know if it's because of these stone bricks, but I'll put dirt down and see if that actually helps or not. <clears throat> Let's go and do it. Took me two minutes anyway. While that's smelting up, ow! There's the smelt. There's the um, finger my bobbins. There we are. Let that do that. I don't know if it make a difference or not, but uh, I'm gonna do it anyway. There we go. I'll put you into there, I suppose. You into there. You into there. And then, well, that came from in there anyway. I'm sure it did. 
So all the rest of these things can go to there anyway. And I'll have a bucket as well. So how are we doing? Ah, plenty of seared bricks. Nice, nice. More seared bricks there. That should be enough, actually, to be able to do this. Right, there's my smeltery controller. I need a piece of glass, of course. Oops. Well, let's get eight pieces of glass. Because I'm going to need glass anyway going forward. So we'll get eight pieces of glass. That should be fine. Um, we need more seed bricks as well. But I'm not quite sure how many. Let's make a drain and uh, do it that. Do that. Smeltery drain. Fluid in and output for the smeltery. Okay. Let's also make a faucet. Let's make a casting table as well. Now... We can make clay moulds, people are telling me. And the clay moulds are single use only. And this is a this is a good thing because we're gonna need a pickaxe. We're gonna need to make a better pickaxe. Um and we need a clay we need a mould to be able to do it. Because um the only other way is gold, I believe now. I'm not sure aluminium has a way of doing it. But uh, I think I need to put clay, by the looks of things, in there and pour it over a wooden type of whatever the hell it is. So we need a wooden pickaxe head, which shouldn't be too hard. So I've got some wood. The night, yeah, there we go. Um, part builder. There we are. Put that into there, and make a wooden pickaxe head. Good stuff. Um, Let's grab some more of that, because I think we've got enough now, because I only want to do a really small smeltery, just for, you know, ease of use, really, at this moment in time. I need some food as well. Do we have any food kicking around that I can actually eat that will give me nutritional value? Oh, what is this? <laughs> oh, I hate this. I just started doing my, uh, my kitchen as well, but I need more materials to do this, and I, it, this seems to be the way forwards. So, seared bricks. Um, where are we going to do this? Should we do it in the corner over here? Right here? If I get rid of this. Right, that was placed here, so it's not going to try to... Uh... Oh, mind you, uh, thingamabob's not in any there, is it? Tree capitator's not in this one. Let's get rid of that. We'll sort it out at some stage and make it look decent. But for the moment, we need the space. We need the space. This will just have to look like it's hovering in midair. I have no qualms at that. Right, let's go ahead and dig out a spot here. I think we'll do it like this. Oh, you know what? You know what? Right, and then that's going to go in there. We're only going to do it. That's the base. That is literally the base right there. We're only going to do a small one, guys. Um, smeltery controller, get that on the front. We need a drain. Uh, not a drain, we've got a drain. We need a tank so that we can put the, uh, the stuff into it. Good stuff. Oh, I need to actually make it. That would be preferable as well. So that needs to go around a load of bricks. And then that will put the lava inside there. I'll put that there. Um, the drain itself, the smeltery drain, have I got enough actually? Because I might be able to have enough to, uh, to put this up a bit. I'm going to have to. Okay, three. Right, so that is now a fully functioning smeltery, apart from we don't have the drain on there or anything. But we're going to sort that out right now, because the drain is going to go there. Now, you can actually drain it from all different... Ow, get out of there. Uh, all different angles, and you can actually put... Uh, you can right-click on this with something, with uh, any liquids or anything like that, and it'll put them in your smeltery, which is awesome. Um... I don't want to get, I don't want to make too many of these, too many than I actually need. So, there's that on there, those on there, that, and one more. I want to keep some spare if I can. I know I can make more, but uh, now we've got a little bit more space as well. We've got enough for eight different things in here. This will get bigger over time, guys, don't you worry your little selves about it. Uh, we'll put the faucet there. And we'll put the casting table there. So now all we need to do is get our lava 
This is pretty simple, guys. Everybody's seen this before. But for those of you who haven't, we need to make our... Oh, nice. We need to make our clay, um, molten clay. I take it you just need clay. Just like clay, yes. Makes molten clay. 144 molten clay. So how many do we actually need? 288, so we need two clay for this. I don't want to use too many. So good if I actually saved that clay then, isn't it? There we go. Now let's melt up this clay into molten clay and pour it over our wooden pickaxe head. Now this apparently uh, will kill the wooden pickaxe head, but that's not a problem for me, guys. Uh, we just need that... Um, we need that single-use clay pickaxe head so that we can we can swap out our pickaxe. I don't think the sharpener... Let's have a look about the sharpening thing. Sharpen. Sharpening kit. Combined with a flint, upgrades your tool to the materials mining level. Oh. Okay. So if I used an ironing... Uh, an ironing... <laughs> an iron sharpening kit... If I combined, if I sharpened an, my flint with my iron sharpening kit, that would upgrade my tool to diamond mining level, is that right? I don't know, guys. How does one do this? We need a sharpening kit cast. So we need a wooden sh a sharpening kit. Let's try this out. Let's try this out, because I'm intrigued, guys. I'm intrigued. No, I want to know how to make the cast. It says to do it with a wooden sharpening kit. But a wooden sharpening kit isn't popping up on here. And how to actually use it. Is there any recipes for this thing? Look! Ah! It comes from... That's casting. There is no other way of doing this. How the hell do you make a wooden sharpening kit? All the rest is done in in casts. Night slime. There's no wooden sharpening kit that you can do in here. But you need the sharpening kit. The, you need the clay cast. How do you actually make it? Ah! Oh, this is well annoying. You need to put a wooden one in, but there is no way of making a wooden one. Sharpening kit pattern. Oh, here we go. There's a sharpening kit pattern, guys. Apparently. It's not in here. Oh, it might be, actually. There it is. Okay. So. I figured something out by myself, guys. I'm so proud of myself. Let's make that. Sharpening kit pattern thing. Right, how many? 1.5. Are you serious? <laughs> Seriously, 1.5? Why could you not just have done two? That would have been so much better. So now we've got a wooden sharpening kit, which is awesome. Uh, we'll go ahead and get a couple more pieces of clay. I'll grab them all, because there's no mouse tweaks in this. Um, and we will put a couple more pieces of clay into here so that they can smelt up. Uh, and we'll, we'll, put, we'll get the rest of that clay out of there on top of our pickaxe head and grab this. Oh, that's cool. It actually changes colour as it's going. That is great. So we've got a nice clay pickaxe head clay cast. It's single use though. We can only use it once, so I'll keep that for a, uh, a little bit, a little bit, and we'll see how we can actually make this uh, this thing, and see if it actually works. I'll make an iron one. I've got a bit of iron kicking around, so I'll make an iron sharpening kit. There we go. I'll make an iron sharpening kit and see if it actually does work on our pit uh, on our flint pickaxe. Oh, there we go. Let's make one of these. Oh, that is cool. I love the look of that now. It's great. Right, we will leave that in there then. So that takes one and a half to actually fill it, does it not? Yes. One and a half it takes to fill it. It says mining level diamond, so we will see. We will soon see. Let's go, while that's smelting down, we will go and get our pickaxe. All nicely healed. So you can't even do it in this thing either. That is really annoying. Tool station. Put that into there. And we'll get that healed up. Healed up all nice. 
They're nearly done. And unfortunately, so is my lava. We're going to have to make a, uh, some way of making lava. That would be nice. Oh, come on. I'm so looking forward to seeing what this is. Right, we've got four ingots worth in here. Let's pour that out. Oh, that is awesome. I like that. So now we've got our iron sharpening kit. How does one use this iron sharpening kit? Do we put it in with it like this? No. Combine with a flint. Okay. What, combine with a on my thing? No. How the hell do we use this? Let me figure it out. Put it in here. No. How do I use the sharpening kit? Huh. Is it this thing? No. All right, let's see if there's any uses for this. We can smelt it back down again. We can use it. We can use it as. Oh, I don't know what we can use it as. Smelting and casting, there really is nothing else that you can do with it other than that, uh, in terms of JEI anyway. Um, okay, so combine with a flint. What do you mean combine with a bloody flint? Do we just slap it on the floor? No. Okay guys, um, I finally finally figured it out. <laughs> it really shouldn't have taken me this long, really. Uh, we just put the pick into here, we put the sharpening kit and a piece of flint in with it. Now this will put it up to fortified iron. Not sure what's the actual thing of it. What's the mining level? Mining level has now gone up to iron, so I can I do iron with this. Um, not diamond, as I was hoping. But, what can you do? This is, um, oh that's mining level iron as well. I don't get this. What the heck? This makes no... Oh, mining level diamond. That's much better. So I, there is a mining level diamond on this. Awesome. That is great. With the flint pickaxe head, never seen this ever. So we've sharpened it quite nicely there. Don't know if this actually runs out, uh, the sharpening thing, but we'll see. We will see. The durability isn't fantastic. This is good. This means that literally we can make any pickaxe mine anything that we like. And this is kind of unprecedented when it comes to uh, Tinker's Construct. That's, that's awesome, guys. That really is awesome. I'm uh, looking forward to going doing some mining now, so I can mine absolutely everything. Um, or at least should be able to mine absolutely everything. Let's go down and take a look if I can mine this thing at the bottom of this uh, this thing here. I need to start eating as well. <laughs> I need to start eating well. But um, I've, got a, I've got an idea for that, guys. I've got an idea for that. That will be coming soon. Yes, I can actually mine it. Woohoo! Get in! Nickel ore for me! Awesome. Good stuff. Some silver ore there as well. I shall grab this. Ouch. Splinters. Oh, you see what I mean? Here we go, guys. I've opened up a right cave here. Oh, dear. That is a cave. A cave that I really don't want to go down into. But I will get the coal. It's just this won't last very long, this pickaxe. So I still want to make an iron one. Or some, you know, some kind of metal one anyway. Good stuff. And there's another piece just inside there. But we'll leave that there. Um, we'll go back up here and start doing some of the stuff that I said I was going to do for this episode. <laughs> which is, namely, Tinker's Construct. So, we've done that. Uh, we've done that there. I do want to, I wonder if it won't actually go with it, will it? Will I be able to change the head but keep the sharpening? I probably won't be able to. I'm going to try it anyway because, you know, why not? Hey. You better not be in my house. No. We're okay. They're not in my house, guys. Upstairs or down. Right, let's put all this stuff away that we don't need at this moment in time. I need that. Put some copper. Oops. Copper and iron. I need some iron. Don't need clay at the minute. Awesome. So we've got a nice little set going at the moment. Right, let's go downstairs and uh, make what we need to make. Hopefully we've got enough in the way of uh, lava to be able to deal with this. But we've got a tiny little bit of iron left. Two ingots, actually. 
put that into there. We do want to make an iron pickaxe head. We need more durability, and that's that's the main thing of what I'm after. More durability. Ah, they've actually grown now. Nice. Okay, I've got the melons now. It's great. I can start eating some of that before it'll give me. Uh, oh, come on! God damn you! Right. Let's see. That won't even class us enough to be able to eat something else, would it? Um. See, that's eaten once out of the last six foods, so I'd still need to bloody. I'd still need to eat it. So, can I eat six of these and then go back to one of them? That's three. This will be four. This will be five. And then this will be six. So technically, I haven't eaten that in the last six foods. Hey, Not eaten recently, thank god for that. Okay, it's not too bad actually, this spice of life. I can live with it. I can live with it. If that's the case, I can definitely live with it. I just need a lunchbox and we'll sort that out anyway. We'll sort that out another episode. But for the moment, we've got our molten iron. I will get that into the pickaxe head. Looking good, looking good. <laughs> Look at that. Nice. I'll need to start mining some gold as well while I'm down there. And then let's go ahead and slap this on the pickaxe. I could always make another uh, tool sharpening thing. It really makes no difference, guys. Well, let's pop that into there. Oh no, it actually keeps the splinter. It actually keeps the sharpening. Oh man, that's quality. Okay, it does keep the sharpening on it, but the durability has gone up, which is good. Nice. It's all about durability then, apparently. Now, Oh, that is ledge, guys. I can't believe it. That is uh, what a transformation that Tinker's Construct has taken. It's fantastic. These um, these sharpening kits, very, very useful. And it just means that you can have literally any pick that you want. And anybody can have any different pick that they want to have. And it'll still do exactly what they want it to do, and so on and so forth. I, I think that people would end up trying to figure out a better way of making as much... And getting as much durability as possible on their pick. But, um... That is good, though, for, for people to have. That is really good for people to have the option of whether or not they do want to have, um, like, an iron pick or a flint pick, and they still want to, you know, mine everything that people want to mine and so on. It's very good. It is very good. I just need to switch out the uh, the tool handle. That would be nice. Right, anyways, uh, I think that's going to be it for the end of this episode. Now we've got a way of doubling our ores, which is awesome. I do need to go and get um, an ingot cast, but I will go down there mining, guys, get some gold, and I'll come back up, you know, do all the stuff that I need to do, smelt it all down and what have you, and then we can work on other ways that you can uh, duplicate, or duplicate, you can uh, double your ores in next episode. Next episode, I think what we'll do is the actually additions way of doubling your ores. I think that would be fun. That will definitely be fun. So, anyway guys, if you've got any comments or suggestions or anything like that, please put them down in the comment section below, and I will see you in the next episode. Until then, I've been the Toughman. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, stay safe.